how's it going gonna make a video today haven't made one in a while but I uh, figured that I'm um, gonna go ahead and make one today about a cedar log fence that I'm building of course not right here but at the beginning of our property and uh, I want to take you through and show you how I do it and what it's gonna look like so stay tuned Okay, so this is what I'm doing here. I've already gotten started. This is what it's basically going to look like. Now I just got these posts setting up. I don't have them in the final position, but um, I'm going to be running rebar through these to make sure that they don't shift or or move. Or if I accidentally hit it with the lawn mower or something, it doesn't, doesn't move or fall down. Don't want that to happen once you put all this work into it. But uh, I've also been cutting and stacking over here. I just put this kind of up here to give an idea what it's going to look like. But uh, all this is going to have to be taken back down so I can run that rebar through it. But anyway, I've got to cut all the way to there and it's going to go all the way to the wood line over there. And uh, so I've got a lot more logs to cut and I'm going to take you through the process of that. And you guys will see how I'm going to do this. All right, well, I'm in a part of our property where we have an abundance of cedar and pine trees. And I'm going to start taking some cedar trees and uh, falling them and try to not get them into my, my trail system here. Just kind of help with not having to clean up off of it. But uh, as you can see, I've got tons of trees to choose from out here and I'm gonna go ahead and get started looks like this tree right here in the middle not the one leaning over that one's gonna have to be cut out but the one nice and straight there it looks like I can get at least two posts out of this tree and I'm gonna try to fall it straight forward and that way uh, like I said I don't have to do much cleanup with it so I'm gonna go ahead and get started up a little bit and then uh, start putting me 10 foot logs out of this and, uh, it's gonna work out good now this is an electric saw uh, I like to use the electric um, it makes it you know quite simple it doesn't make a lot of noise so I don't have to wear hair protection or anything like that uh, doesn't leave a you know a gas scent you know for animals or anything like that like deer you know, be timid by it. but uh, anyway I use this quite often and then when I run out of battery power I get the gas saw out and for now this is all I'm going to use I'm going to clean this up start cutting some logs out of it. Mark me off 10 feet and then uh, and then cut it and start hauling it out. Alright, there's one. Make me enough room to make another one here.
tonight. I got about 20 more of these to do. So uh, you got the idea. I'm going to finish up. And I'll take you back down where we'll start stacking the logs. All right. Well, I've got me uh, about nine posts cut as of right now. And here's the tops. And uh, they're away from the trail system. So uh, that's going to work out. Also, rabbits and small mammals will uh, bed up in under here and uh, keep them safe and even deer can get up behind there and bed if they want. This ain't traditionally a bedding area for deer, but if they wanted to stop and just kind of hang out, they have good shelter to keep them out of the elements. So uh, I've already hauled these logs out. <laughs> I use the side-by-side -side to do it. Luckily, I keep my trails wide enough to where I can pull these 10 foot posts out. And I've noticed that, uh, you know, these are pretty heavy and um, I can haul out about nine, which is, you know, three rows, I guess. So that works out pretty good. So I'm gonna haul these over there and unload them. As you can see, I just laid down another nine and uh, I probably got about 15, maybe 12 more posts to cut here. And then, uh, that should be it for this. And then uh, I'll have to start drilling holes and running rebar and stuff like that. So that's kind of the process. I'll get back with you when I get a little further along. Well, it's the next morning and uh, I got all the post cut that I need also came in and uh, cut about 10 inch sections here and then split them in half for the base that way uh, the bottom uh, post will be up off the ground on each end here and uh, I'm like I said putting rebar through it that way uh, it'll be nice and sturdy when it's all finished I also had to bring the generator out here because uh, my cordless power tools was not working very well going through these posts, drilling the holes to them. So I uh, brought some more power out here. That way I can rip through this fairly easily. But uh, I'm going to get started and I'll catch back up with you here in a minute. All right, well, it's the next day. I worked all the way until dark last night and uh, finally got the fence done so this is what it looks like and uh, i'm very happy with it it's very sturdy especially after you know drilling those uh holes for the rebar and all that kind of stuff so uh it worked out really well i couldn't be happier with it so uh like subscribe comment down below and i'll see you on the next video